yeah, being constructive and being creative. And uh, that always changes everything. And so, um, oh, Jillian says, I live 20 minutes from Chicago. Um, so vitamin D is helpful, sounds right. Okay, very good. So we don't have any more questions. Uh, oh, much love to you. Uh, we got the message from our sister Hilde. You know, I'm sending you a lot of love. I hope you recover soon. And then we have another friend, Liana Sol. Fire, moon, snow, beautiful. I don't know, where are you, Liana? From where are you writing to us? So, I don't know where she's from. Um, anything else anyone want to share with me or ask any questions before? Um, we wrap it up, I think. She's in Norway. Norway, okay, from Norway, good. Full moon. Full moon. Snow, beautiful, yeah, that's a good comment. Yeah. Right, okay, well, you can, uh, just for those of you who are here for the first time and listening, you can connect with me um, via uh, Facebook or Instagram. My, uh, we have a, also the Academy Facebook, which is Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. Uh, you can also uh, check out our website. It's zaratustra.tv. And you're welcome to join us through our system, Zoom. Every Tuesday, we broadcast from uh, 10 to 11.30. By the way, I wanted to put it out while we're here that uh, Shishi and I are debating on changing the Academy's time from one and a half hour to one hour. So I would like to get your input. And if you let me know, if uh, you have an idea for that, if you want to share it to me with me, uh, share it now, or if you want to write back to us. Uh, we're thinking about reducing it to one hour, and I may be putting another academy, it's possible, uh, uh, another session for another hour or 45 minutes, I would be broadcasting in the evenings. So uh, our friends, uh, who are, are in the same time zone as California or in the U.S., then they can be uh, joining me because right now I'm doing it in the morning in California. And so people who are working during the day in California or in the U.S., they have a hard time to join me because of the, their work. So... So I've, been, I've designed this to broadcast towards my friends in Scandinavia. So I'm thinking about reducing it to one hour uh, and creating another one for an hour, 45 minutes. So it would be broadcasting twice. So any suggestions? Anybody wants to make a comment or suggest anything? No? Okay, Jillian is saying, I added you on Facebook too today. Are you coming to Illinois anytime soon? Right. Uh, Jillian, I'm not planning on coming to Illinois. I mean, if I normally go to places that somebody um, organizes an event, like a friend of mine organized something for me in New York City, which I'm going to... Uh, New York City on the third on the first and the second I have a one-day workshop on Saturday the 2nd of February in New York City um, and then the next big event I have which is our the essence of shamanism and that's going to be in Sedona Arizona and that's going to be from March 7th to the 15th uh, these are the the uh, the two events that I've scheduled, the rest of my events at this point, what we have scheduled is going to be in May uh, in Poland and Germany. 
but uh, I'm formulating the rest of my schedule of the year um, and I'll put them out. But uh, at this point, I'm not planning to uh, doing anything in Illinois unless someone wants to put something together. So anyway, I'm going to keep in touch with you and I'll let you know of what I'm going to do. The Academy is going to continue doing, we're going to continue meeting up, but uh, uh, we're also thinking that maybe one hour would be more sufficient if I'm going to be doing something else. So, uh, and if I'm going to be expanding on broadcasting two times uh, in one week. Okay, well, nice to see you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, send you lots of love and light uh, wherever you are in the world. And just always remember one thing that stay in your heart, stay in this place, sink into your heart, just come to the presence, be in this place. And in this place, which is also home, that there is no story going on when you sink back inside yourself. Everything is quiet. Your story disappears, no matter what the story is. And you come back home and you come to safety and you realize that all is very well. So don't forget that. You know, you go back into the world and you get engaged with the world of the thoughts and all the story and blah, blah, blah. Just come back again. As soon as you get lost into it and you do remember, come back. Come back to this place again. It's easy to go out there and get lost into it. And what does he mean? What do they mean? What, do they, what are they going to do? What's going to happen to me? Uh, am I going to make it next week? Or am I going to make it in my life? Or what's going to be my life like? And blah, 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 blah. You get engaged into the world of the thoughts easily. And it drags you, you know, spirals into the dark place. And you begin to suffer. And then as soon as you come back, you bring your attention here, what I was talking about, space, presence. You bring your attention here, and all of a sudden, it becomes very clear. It becomes very still. The love comes back. Peace comes back. And you realize the recognition that all is well, and anything that you need will be provided. All of it comes back again as soon as you bring your attention back into the self, as soon as you come back home. So again, if you get pulled out of here, don't beat yourself up. Just remember home is here and come back home. And then you start to feel and, and notice the safety, come back into the love. And then you see you're safe, you're fine. Very well. Sending you lots of love. Thank you for joining me. God bless you.